Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm gonna be taking you along with me this weekend and just showing you what sorts of things I get up to. I thought I would vlog my weekend off. I'm looking forward to just having a really nice chilled weekend and it looks like the weather's gonna be good as well. Last night I finished work at 10 and then I came home and it was Friday night so I just chilled with my housemates which is something I haven't done in a really long time. Mainly because of my shifts, I just haven't managed to catch them and we haven't really chilled out together. And today I'm seeing my friend Rasheen who is a friend I met during F1 and then we did F1 and F2 together so she's a new-ish friend but I've been through a lot with her. Look at what a beautiful day it is, it's so nice. I've got these flowers on my desk. I got these for one pound from the co-op. They're getting a bit dry now though. And then these roses, a family member sent to me, which was really nice. And yeah, just got these, they're really brightening up my room. And then here I've just got this huge chair drobe of stuff I need to sort out. Before I go, I just thought I'd show you what I'm wearing. Um, just thought it'd be nice and warm. So this is a jumper from ASOS that I got and I've got wearing a few layers underneath. And then these trousers from Topshop that I got like years and years ago. I don't even know how long ago. And then I'm just going to wear a coat and a hat and some gloves and be nice and warm. Hey guys, I'm just walking to the park to see my friend and I cannot get over how much of a beautiful day it is. I'm wearing my shades. I forgot to bring my gloves so my hands are a bit chilly. Yeah, I really feel like spring's coming, you know? Like, look, flowers. Flowers. <laughs> um, I'm excited to go to the park. I'm excited to be outside. It's a beautiful day. Rasheen just got me this book. Hi. Basically saying that because she was so happy, she shouldn't be in a conservatorship anymore. Hey guys, I'm just with Rasheen and it's such a beautiful day. I can't go over. I think I've said in this vlog already multiple times it's a beautiful day, but it really is. Look, look at that blue sky. Just look at it, it's delicious. Hey guys, I just bought some gloves and I'm really happy I have gloves. I'm happy I have gloves. I'm so happy I have gloves. <laughs> I just got myself a latte and a vegan sausage roll from a little cafe, very nice. I just got home from my walk with Rasheen. It was really nice, like I haven't seen her since before Christmas and I used to see her almost every week at work. Um, but it was good to just have a proper catch up and update each other on our lives and have a really nice walk as well with nice weather. The only thing was the cold, it was freezing. But then I bought those gloves so that helped. Um, I've made a cup of tea and I'm gonna sort out that huge pile of washing I have to do and then I'm gonna make my slides for tomorrow. So yeah, pretty chill Saturday. Um, yeah, enjoying the downtime. All done. I've sorted out my clothes and I thought I would just sit down and tell you a little bit about this teaching that I'm doing tomorrow. So I'm giving a hour and a half lecture on paediatric infections. I really like teaching because I think as a doctor it helps consolidate your own knowledge and revise things a bit more and if you can teach a subject then you obviously understand it better as well. And I also think it's just really great to be able to use this opportunity to give back to the medical education world I guess. Um, as a student, I really enjoyed attending revision days, so it feels quite nice to be able to give back in that sense as well. And it's also like a really good thing for your portfolio and your medical CV to be like, oh, I did a teaching session. I haven't actually fully finished making the slides, which is what I need to do today, because I've been really busy this week. And I also find that if I don't give myself too much time to do something, I still manage to get it done, and I knew I was free all of today other than going on my walk. So I'm gonna finish it off today. I'm hoping to make it really interactive. I've got like videos and sound clips. I haven't really given online teaching before like this, so that'll be interesting. So we'll see how it goes. I'm looking forward to it, but I'm also a bit anxious, but I think it'll be a really good learning experience. And I hope they give you nice feedback, but whatever happens, I will still, I will learn from it as well. I thought I'd just show you what I've done so far. So I've just made a rough plan for what I want to cover and then a rough kind of order. And then I've started a bit about the febrile child and how to assess a febrile child. 
and then I've already started a bit on respiratory infections. I've tried to include questions because that helps learning. And then I'm going to go through the answers to these when I'm doing the presentation. I try to put lots of text on the slides so that when you're going back to it, people can learn from the slides rather than try and work out what the lecturer was saying and like use it as a revision resource. So yeah, those are my slides so far. I'm going to work on UTIs now and finish it off. Guys, like something really cool just happened. Um, someone called Lydia had messaged me on Instagram a couple of weeks ago and said she wanted to do a digital drawing of one of my pictures. And she sent them to me just now and they're so cool. And it's just like, I don't know, I feel really flattered and they're really nice. Um, she kind of said she'd, she'd done them as like a thank you for everything I post on my Instagram account. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know, that just feels really nice. And um, yeah, thank you, Lydia, very nice of you. I have migrated to my bed to do my slides because it's too cold by the window. I won't lie, I'm actually a bit stressed about teaching final year medical students because they know so much and I'm like, I'm just a doctor. I don't remember what I knew when I was final year. But then I'm like, I do this every day. So gotta remember that. Shouldn't be intimidated by knowledge. I'm gonna just be like, this is what we do clinically. Yeah. This is taking me a lot longer than I anticipated and I think I'm being too perfectionist about it. I need to just whiz on, get going. It's dark now, I had to turn my light on. I think I'm gonna take my lenses out too to give my eyes some rest. But yeah, still going with the uh, slides and I haven't done a lot more since I last spoke to you, but it's been a lot more hours since then. I've finished it! I'm so happy. Wow, that took me so long. I didn't expect it to take me this long. But yeah, I learned a lot while doing it, which is also really good. I'm gonna go to sleep now um, and just enjoy my sleep. I, don't, I forgot to take my um, glasses out, so I've just now got eye pain. And I can't be bothered to leave my bed to brush my teeth, but obviously I'm going to because I had an ice cream. I need to take my lens out, I need to wash my face. But anyway, sayonara from me see you tomorrow hey guys good morning it's sunday morning i actually ended up watching um it's a sin last night i started watching it on channel four so many people have said to me that i should watch it so yeah i decided to watch one episode to like unwind before bed and then end up watching two episodes and i really could have watched more but i knew i should sleep because it was 3 a.m um i would have had a shower i'm not ready for work made my bed, I always make my bed every morning because it's like, it just makes me feel so much more put together if my, be if my bed's made. Um, I don't know, do you guys do this? Anyway, so I'm just gonna put some makeup on and then um, I meet my friend Sarah for a walk. Sarah is a uni friend. I actually lived with her in final year. Um, and then we did some of our elective together as well. And she lives really close to me, but because of our road, she's doing surgical training. And we're obviously doing peds. So because of our rotors, we literally never see each other. We've seen each other like twice this year, even though she lives like an eight minute walk away from me. Uh, so it's actually quite hard to multitask. Um, so yeah, we're gonna just hang out, uh, go for a walk, and uh, catch up. This is my outfit of the day. I've worn a lot of blue this weekend, haven't I? Anyway, I decided to wear jeans today because they're a bit warmer. Um, and I have this belt. And then this jumper used to be my dad's. I just stole it off him. <laughs> and I thought it'd be good to wear a high neck because I can zip it up if it's cold. And I'm just gonna wear my coat and hat and my new gloves. I swear I literally spent my life eating breakfast in a rush. My whole life. What I really struggle with is um, I get really hot when I walk, but I get really cold when I'm not walking. So like five minutes ago I was freezing and now I'm boiling. It's a struggle of the walker. Hey, hey Saz! <laughs> Into the park. I'm home from my walk and I popped into Tesco on my way home. I'm just going to show you what I got because why not, even though it's nothing exciting. Hummus, I basically always have hummus in my fridge. 
vegan butter because I have run out. Vegan cheese, which I don't normally buy and I've never bought a block, but I thought I would uh, try it. And Oatly, I used to be a soy milk gal, but I think it's safe to say I've converted to an oat milk person and I got this. It's actually really expensive though. Like this was two pounds. Um, I think it used to be like one pound fifty, so they've really gone up in price. That is all I got. Did I buy? Oh, I also got, sorry, it's all in my pockets because I didn't want to get a bag. I got this vegan jerky, which I've not tried, but my friend Sarah said it's really good and she's not vegan. Got a huge cup of tea. I literally have made it in like a pint glass. Um, oh. Yeah, so I was gonna say about my, um, my walking. Oh God, I need to sit. Where should I sit? I'll sit here. Yeah, so with my walking, I basically used to try and do 10,000 steps a day, and then I realized I was just couldn't get it. It was like stressing me out. So now I aim for 5,000 a day, but I'm happy with 4,000, but I don't do it daily because sometimes work means I can't reach it. I do it more like a weekly average. So by the end of each week, I hope to have done four to 5,000, and I try and catch it up if I haven't. Um, what do you guys aim for? I think some people do like loads, like 15K, but... I could just not do that, it's just too tricky. And some people think 4,000 is nothing, but I drive to work, so it's quite hard to get it all in. So I'm happy today, because I hit uh, 12,000 today, which has brought my weekly average up to 6,000. Guys, something really weird just happened. I had this like little little blob appear on my lip, and then I was filming something um, for this help campaign I'm doing, and I just bit it. And then it's like bleeding loads. It was, it was weird and then I had like blood in my mouth and it took like a good three minutes of constant bleeding to stop. It stopped now. But like, can you see the little ee <laughs> eek? That's what happened. I've just spent the last hour filming a one minute clip for my Instagram stories to go up on Wednesday for a campaign I'm working on with um, Public Health England and NHS England. I can't say what it is until Wednesday because they've said it, it's the campaign's not announced until Wednesday. But yeah, I spent an hour refilming the same thing and it's a one minute long clip. And I think I kept either fluffing up or it, thinking I was too robotic or messing up my words. Anyway, I've done it now, but I literally spent an hour doing that. Now I'm gonna eat some food and then prep for my teaching, which is in about an hour and a half. I'm scared. So I'm about to do my teaching and I'm petrified. I'm literally shaking. <sighs> okay, when you next see me, I'll have done it and I'll let you know how it goes. Look at the Zoom call. Hi everyone, I think we'll wait for a couple more minutes um, for more people to join us and then we'll start that round. I've done my teaching, but oh my God, I'm so desperate for a wee. Be right back. I'm back. I literally needed to pee that whole session. It was a bit stressful, but yeah. Oh my gosh, I was so nervous beforehand and it actually went really well. Um, I'm really proud of myself and I feel like it's taught me paediatric infections in a lot more detail and the feedbacks, I, I've had a glimpse of the feedback and it looks really nice. So yeah, I've done it. Woohoo! This is some of the feedback I got. Oh, it's so nice. Talk slower. Felt a bit fast, slower pace. I literally have this problem where I speak way too fast but anyway i'm really happy with this feedback thank you very much to everyone who applied oh thanks guys guys i thought i would just have a little bit of a debrief because i'm just really proud of myself because i like i used to be the person that attended these revision courses and i would look at the lecturers and be like wow how did they know so much and they covered so much in such a short amount of time and now i'm the person that gave the lecture and i'm just like I don't know, I'm just so proud of myself for doing that. And looking at the feedback, people obviously thought I knew a lot about the topic, which I think increases my own confidence in myself as a doctor, which is really nice. Um, I'm definitely gonna do more teaching sessions because I find it really rewarding to teach other people about what I already know. And also I remember what it was like to be a medical student and not really understand. But yeah, I, I just feel really proud of myself. Like I was looking at the feedback and I was like, well done Raz, this is, that you did this. And I, I put the effort in and I've had a really busy week and I managed to do it all, even though I spent all of yesterday doing it, as you know. Um, yeah, I'm just really, really happy. And I'm gonna, but I think I might order a takeaway, you know, as a treat. Should I do it? Okay, I'm gonna do it. I've decided, I've committed, I'm, I've said on the video, I'm gonna order a takeaway, so I'm gonna order a takeaway. I ordered a cheeky burger. I've ordered a vegan burger, cheeseburger and chips. Yeah, I literally can't wait to eat this. I've got vegan mayo and ketchup and I put a load of black pepper onto my chips. My kitchen is really cold, so I'm being really naughty and eating in my bed. Don't judge me. I, I don't want any comments about eating in my bed unless they're, I, unless they're telling me that you do it too. But yeah, kitchen is way too cold to eat in there. And my bed's nice and warm and I can watch it to sin while I'm eating. So 
That's what I'm doing. These chips are really good. I haven't actually bitten into the burger yet. Should I do that now? Can I do this one handed? Let me show you it. It's got uh, Beyond Meat Patty, tomato, lettuce, vegan cheese. Mmm. -mm -mm. Very good. Vegan and delicious. Goodness. I just finished watching It's a Sin and oh my goodness, it was so good. Um, it's basically about a group of friends in the 80s in London and when HIV and AIDS basically becomes more of a infectious disease in London and how this group of friends who are mostly gay group of friends, how it impacts their life, how they don't really believe it's true at the very beginning, the stigma that they face being gay men and the stigma with AIDS as well. It was really interesting. It taught me loads and loads of stuff I've never even thought about, like things I've never even reflected on and things I've never learned about even as a medical student. I think I learned so much more from watching this than from medical school. I'm gonna head to sleep now. Um, I've actually stayed up quite late because I'm starting night shifts tomorrow. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for coming along with me this weekend. It's been really fun showing you all sorts of things I get up to. Um, I hope it was interesting. I know it was very simple, but you know, it's locked down, what else can you expect? Um, and yeah, I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below about what you got up to this weekend. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.